fight against COVID-19, we found the latest local company pivoting their typical production to help meet the dire need for masks and medical equipment. Our Audrina Bigas joins us live. Audrina, good morning. This is not only meeting an important need, but it's also bringing back some jobs. Good morning, Aaron. This is a win-win for sure. Champro Sports in Wheeling usually makes sporting equipment and uniforms for league teams. But instead, this week, they started making face masks. Now, this is just another example of a local company stepping up, really changing courses quickly and innovating in this crisis. Now, I want to give you an inside look right now at the warehouse where these masks are being made. This is where they're cutting and pressing the fabric, much of which is donated bed sheets from local hotels, of course, sanitized first. Right now, most of the masks are going to senior living facilities, both for the residents and employees. And now they've created a prototype for surgical masks. They've already submitted them to see if these could be workable, if they could be approved to be in hospitals. A cool part about this project is the employees here took it upon themselves to come up with a non-surgical mask idea, create the design, create a prototype, and then test them. Some of the workers here even solicited donations of fabric and brought in their own sewing machines to help out. Spring sports leagues have been delayed and or canceled, and so our revenue has dropped by about 90% over the course of the last two weeks. So in order to uh, keep expenses more closely in line with our current revenue, we've had to reduce compensation and reduce hours of employees. Um, and this project has allowed us to bring manufacturing employees back into the building and um, allow them to be productive time during this quiet time for the business. That's definitely good news. Well, two things they need right now to continue making these masks. First, they need donations for fabric. Secondly, they want to know if you know of any senior living facilities in our area that are in need of face masks. Of course, we know the elderly are very susceptible to this virus, so they want to protect them and the workers that are helping them in these facilities. You can find out more information at cbschicago.com.